Hello there, Aquarius, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you're doing well out there. And of course, ooh, okay. So we got something about clear. So may you see things as they are. I feel a lot of you, Aquarius, um, you're really in your king or queen of swords position, I feel. Um, some of you, you're already getting the clarity that you need. Some of you just hang on, okay? There's something about you, um, you know, coming into a great discernment, knowing exactly what it is that you need, want, or what needs to be revealed as some type of truth, okay? So yeah, may you see things as they are. I feel that you have the gift to do so. Um, I feel that whatever is happening um, in your situation, it's coming into focus clear, uh, a lot more uh, clear for you as the days go by. So uh, let's see what else you need to know when it comes to your current situation, Aquarius. I am picking up air, uh, excuse me, air signs. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What's this funny little card about here? Okay, look at this. I feel that this is really tied in here with this. Uh, purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Mm. I feel a lot of you um, are invoking a clearing of a path or invoking um, something between you, your higher self and the universe when it comes to knowing what your purpose is. Now, you know, your purpose can be as big or as small as you feel it needs to be. Um, just as long as you're feeling that you know, you're really at home with yourself, feeling good about yourself. Maybe it's not, you know, something easy all the time because life brings challenges. But I do feel that there's something going on here with um, really learning about lessons in life, getting clear about things, um, and maybe even getting more clear about your purpose or, you know, uh, awakening to something more powerful that's going on, that's driving you or that will uh, ignite something within you to give you more motivation. Okay. So let's see what else for you, Aquarius. Now for some of you, Aquarius, maybe for some, some of you, whatever you are seeing, maybe even if it seems challenging, just know it's actually clearing the path for you. And it's just making things a lot more clear for you. And maybe a lot of you are clearing things out, maybe simplifying things or getting more organized. Um, we've got wishing you health. So some of you Aquarius, you may be uh, receiving a lot of guidance and love from uh, spirit guides, ancestors and loved ones on the other side. Um, to guide you to health and healing or to do things um, that help you feel that you're taking better care of yourself. Now, for some of you, I feel you've been putting a wish out there too for another or others here. And you do have that ability to really heal a situation and send out those healing uh, energies and frequencies. Um, okay. And it is wanted. Now, for some of you, there could be someone thinking about you as well. Um so yeah, this might be tied into something with your uh, heart space here. So let's get a little bit more about this. <clears throat> Wishing you health. Because some of you too, you're waking up to some type of realization of, you know, you know how to uh, take better care of yourself or, you know, just coming to a, a place where you're just going to decide and choose things that are you know, giving you a sense of wholeness and benefiting your health here and maybe even a peace of mind. Yeah, look at that. I'm being, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. This is all to do with your health. Okay. So some of you, some, sometimes even in a, a, a tough or challenging situation with another, maybe even feeling peaceful about something or someone, you know, just giving yourself that, that, uh, time and energy. It's like, you know what I want to say for some of you Aquarius is don't allow others to be greedy for your time and your intention. What is going on here? Like the, the cards are just really what God. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? Um, there's going to be another card that wants to come out. Look at this. The strength card just came popping out. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side continue to look for the gifts in this situation because may you see things as they are. I feel for some of you, again, it could 
could be challenging here when it came to seeing things as they are, right? Maybe seeing people for what they are. But you are in a place of love. Love is going to bring you to health and healing anyway. So when you can just be in that energy, right, doesn't doesn't mean that you have to love the negative things. Um, um, maybe attack it with love. Maybe for some of you guys, you can do that. You know, but um, as you release negative energy, okay, in all forms right now, as much as you can, you're just coming back to this place of, you know, love, which is your natural state of being. Look at this. This is this is strong here. Something about you feeling like you are going to flourish. I really get um, Empress energy with this, and so Spirit is showing me with the Strength card, um, wishing you health and peace. It's all about you really seeing and noticing your own inner beauty at this time, and loving every part of yourself. Okay. Also honoring your divine feminine energy, whether you're male or female at this time. And what you're doing is really honoring that sensitive side of yourself here, you know, taking better care of yourself, doing things maybe where you can be at ease or nurture um, ideas or projects that, um, you know, give you some type of sense of abundance or growth. Okay. But I do feel that you are coming into a place of clearing something so that you can really give birth to a new you, a new, you know, a situation, new projects, abundance, maybe a divine partner here as well, because I do see two butterflies here and, you know, there may be this sense of alignment coming in because you might be mirroring another that's just like you that's gone through, you know, a very powerful situation transformation here. And so, um, you know, there could be this thing of really uh, attracting that soulmate of yours. <clears throat> okay, what was this? Oh, look at it. Oh, I, okay. I, well, where did this one? Did I just forget to grab the card? I think I did. <laughs> well, whatever. We got the beloved here. So I was talking about a soulmate. Um, you're preparing for your life partner. So, you know, whatever's going on here from the past and what you're realizing, guess what? And look at, I feel that butterflies are speaking to a lot of you, okay? So anyhow, romance is returning to your relationship for some of you that are already involved that have been feeling like you need that. Um, the most important thing, though, is, you know, believing you are lovable. So I feel a lot of you are doing that. Some of you, you may just need to have a little bit more encouragement to continue to see the beautiful aspects about yourself because that's what's going to illuminate and love every part of you and believe you are lovable because you've got a beloved here, whether you realize it or not. So some of you, you know, um, they're with you in spirit and they're, and it's only a matter of time before they show up physically for you. So you want to take care of yourself right now. This is what your beloved is wishing for you, whether you met them or not. <clears throat> um, what else? Because I feel like a maybe possibly, possibly a past life with them. What else for Aquarius? Oh, we got to ri get rid of that guilt. That landed right on that goddess energy here. You know, uh, releasing any beliefs that don't, uh, that no longer assist in your soul's growth. Um, this is about growth, isn't it? Because this is about making it out on the other side here. So... You know, some of you don't feel bad, uh, maybe even for what you have that others don't, or just don't feel bad for something that you, you feel that you don't have. You're your own unique uh, divine uh, God, goddess energy here. So just stay true to that. Um, and I feel that maybe if you felt bad for doing something, you know, you can release that and not feel guilty about it. Let's get more. I get like 10 of wands here with this. So fire signs coming through of uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me have a little bit more too with this guilt for Aquarius. Yeah, because some of you might even be hooked on, hooked on something here where you feel bad about something that you've done that could, you know, be a negative thing for you, your health, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, whatever, you know. Let's get a little bit more about this guilt because see, it's all about right now because may you see things as they are. 
something is becoming very clear for you. Let's get more about this guilt. Oh, just, yeah, see, things are becoming clear for you. Don't you don't need to hang on to anything here. I mean, just really begin. Um, may you start as if you have already begun, okay? Um, and this will help some of you just continue to release any guilt or anything that you might be feeling you're harboring, right? That might be hard to release or let go. Just be patient. Just pretend as if. It's all about intention. It's all about beginning as if you've already begun, Okay, so how would you feel if all of the guilt, all of whatever has been released and just kind of milk that energy for as long as it can, you know, stay with you and just keep working that, okay? But I do feel that you are, you know, again, something is happening here. We're having a, a clearing of our path. Oh, uh, what else? This is going to be about someone or something about love. Some of you, the way out of confusion is to surrender or to seriously just start planning Aquarius. Okay. Uh, some of you, you could be battling up against someone or something here and it could be testing you. So you may need to just kind of be really wise about it, whether something is worth a battle or not. Um, some of you, this could just be inner conflict with this five of wands. Uh, but, you know, the thing is, is I feel that this is inner conflict because it's just about taking that first step and just trusting because there's something about you just, you know, <clears throat> may you start as if you already begun. Okay, so take that first step. Don't worry about the rest. It'll, it'll happen. It'll show up. Okay. Um, I feel that you are already at the, you already have been brought something into your experience it, excuse me you've already had some type of start here so it's just about keeping that momentum going some of you it's just about you know <clears throat> getting you know to a place where you're getting pushed out of out of your comfort zone a little bit but if you just take that first step or believe in yourself you're gonna see um you're gonna see the conflict dissipate here now, there could be something with hidden truths here, right? We have something about clear, and I was getting something about you being in the king or queen of swords position. So you may be gathering some truths here. So take your time if you need to, but don't spend too much time in, in limbo, right? Because it is about, mo you know, moving towards something or at least taking one baby step, um, you know, towards something or someone, okay? Okay. You have what it takes as well. Uh, what else? Don't worry about the competition for some of you. And maybe for some, I mean, you know, I see this goddess type energy here. So this to me is like someone who is really um, illuminating, you know, some type of radiance or unique beauty, uh, whether you're male or female. And, you know, some people that are maybe dark or just don't get it, who cares? It doesn't matter anyways. It, you know, they, it could trigger something within them. Maybe envy, being, you know, jealous or envious of something that you have. But the thing is, is you have to be at peace and, and just understand too that whatever is coming to your life, you know, this is, it's your life and you deserve all the good things in, in your life to come and what you have alive. Look at that. May you delight in vitality. I really get sun energy here. So may you feel the ocean's caress. So I get this like <clears throat> water energy coming through like ace of cups or maybe even two of cups with this held because it's like two becoming one. May you feel the ocean's caress. And may you delight in vitality. Hmm. Are you willing to take that first step too? So I feel a lot of you, this, this purpose to me is screaming judgment card in the sense of real awakening, a real upliftment of the soul, or just really feeling alive and feeling that sense of, you know, 
enthusiasm embracing something brand new in one's life because we've awoken to something that maybe we just didn't realize before or you know we just awoken to something new within ourselves and our experience so yeah i feel that you are being held and caressed by mother earth uh by father god uh by you know the be beloved uh, <laughs> oh my goodness now i can't even say it you know there's malevolent and Belevolent, right? Oh my gosh. It's like I'm having a hard time like seeing my words today. Anyhow, you've got, you know, beautiful beings on the other side that um, are caressing you and holding you tightly here, especially because I do feel there's something that is really testing you, right? Or something felt like it was just, it's almost like you being at peace is really your strength right now. Because I kind of see you being in high priestess energy too, where I just feel like you're keeping things to yourself, you know, and being strong. Okay, uh, what else? Are you ready to be held? Because I feel that there's something about a tender embrace here with you and another. Okay, so may you seek adventure. Look at this, two of wands, okay? There's been something that got something going here. You just might be confused a little bit about what the hell to do. You gotta seek fun though. I mean, come on. Let's see, let's get a little bit more. I get like knight of wands with this too because some of you guys could be relocating or you could be just wanting to you know change up the environment or scenery for a little bit or you could be led to that it's just one baby step at a time because some of you yeah i feel some of you may overthink it too much um aquarius like you may be overthinking it when it's only just one little step and you might be trying to think like think about five steps ahead when you don't need to do that okay um may your soul sing freely see this is all taking it one step at a time um and doing things that give you some sense of freedom i feel a lot of you have a beautiful voice as well so there may be something here with singing um, singing your dreams you know into being here or singing affirmations know that they're being heard maybe singing um you know your prayers but most importantly allowing your soul to sing right because it's about let, allowing your soul to seek what is really right for you this is why you know what you're here to do and stand, stand strong in that even if you don't know exactly what it is because there was a long time aquarius like a long time Oh my gosh, that I did not know why I had these certain gifts. I just didn't know what the hell, why. I got frustrated actually because I just didn't know. But but in, in the background, I always held this knowing that someday, somehow, the, you know, something was going to open up and I will be able to use my gifts. Okay, I had no idea it was going to be doing this. But yes, you know, there's a lot that came with this. Um, and it was many, 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 many years for me. So, but each year or each whatever was, you know, one little step towards that. And I would not exchange anything in the past for it because um, you just got to believe in miracles and believe that uh, you've got something strong about you too. So you, you will not be denied as long as you uh, stay strong in your own spirit, okay? Uh, what else for Aquarius? Trust, yeah. I feel that you are. There's a lot of purple coming through, so I do feel there's something coming alive with your third eye chakra. You know, psychic visions or, you know, gifts or abilities to see, see beyond you know, because again, there's something about may you seek things uh, as they are, but it's almost like even see beyond the surface of things. You know, that's like how, how that's exactly what high priestess does. She can feel and see things beyond the surface, right? Just more than what our physical eyes uh, can see. So accept that your inner voice will always guide you correctly. So make sure that you are taking care of your health. I feel some of you guys are getting some kind of intuitive nudge too when it comes to changes or beneficial things that will help you with health, healing, or just feeling a lot more whole, okay? Um, uh, what else? 
Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the judgment card. I just knew it was uh, coming through here. Um, and this is really powerful because we've got this beautiful whale that's like breaching up to the surface there. So you've got this rising up and that's exactly what I feel. I feel you're just really rising up in your life, in your status, <clears throat> evolving, awakening here and having more clarity. See, there, there's something strong about you having deep, deep knowing and clarity here because I feel there's something with past life with you, with, with like past life gifts and abilities. Um, also having ancient ones that you can hear. That's what I'm hearing. Like you have that ability to hear or uh, know when you're getting messages from the divine or loved ones on the other side. But most importantly, this is about you having a new lease of life here and enjoying what's going to happen. Okay. So I'm surprised that we didn't get a forgiveness card. I thought we did. Um, I mean, kind of, I guess, with this piece. There may be, you know, real uh, uh, making amends with someone too for some of you guys with this judgment, right? And being a, uh, being a being of love and releasing all negative energy. And sometimes when we could just actually be in this place of first taking care of ourself by releasing negative negative energy, releasing healing. Um, making amends of the past or doing whatever we need to do to reconcile a situation can really happen on its own somehow, some way, sometimes though, you know, the, the easier route, or I should say for some, you know, the best way out of confusion is to surrender. Uh, what else for Aquarius? And I feel with this like judgment card and this thing about being held, I can just see like your guardian angel, or I should say angels, they're like standing in this place with you because you've like really risen up and they're like congratulating you and um, wanting you to just come through this other side here because life is going to be <laughs> so much more alive and magical, okay? And they're just really proud of you. Some of you with this judgment, you may, you may be feeling like um, you need to study a little bit more or um, something with tests or exams here. So I do feel that it will go in your favor as long as you, you know, don't get distracted and do what you got to do. Okay. Um, that won't be for all of you, but look at this. Oh my goodness. Ten of crystals. Some of you guys may even feel like you're going to get a second chance at, you know, some type of abundance or commitment that you want. There is something that is worth protecting as well. So yeah, we've got a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We've got stability and attainment. This is a card of like, you know, long-term gains, a lot, good money. Okay. Stability most importantly. So, um, let's see if I can see what was behind that real quick. Yes. Let's see. <clears throat> Again, this five of wands, challenge and growth. Hmm. So let's get more about this too. So I feel a lot of you, there, there could be something going on for some of you with like, oh my goodness, not all of you. Just take this if it resonates. I, I see some kind of like family feuding or fighting or drama here, maybe over assets, uh, inheritance, property, money. Not all of you, okay? So do not take that if it doesn't resonate. <clears throat> hmm. But you got to use wise uh, judgment here too. Let's get a little bit more with this depth. May you immerse and go deeper. So yeah, you, you guys are going to attain what you, you know, this is kind of like Scorpio. I feel Scorpio, maybe there's something strong with you and Scorpio too. Um, where it's like what they thought they couldn't attain, they will, and maybe even more. <laughs> so that's exactly what I see happening here with you. I feel that there's something that has challenged you, or if something does challenge you, it's only helping you guys grow stronger here by making you look or go deeper. So may you immerse and go deeper. So I, again, there's some type of, you know, inner, I, I feel for a lot of you, this is internal conflict here. Okay. Yes. For some, you got someone that's a drama. Okay. So 
You'll make it on the, make it out on the other side. Don't worry. Just continue to seek and nourish yourself here, um, because as you do, it's like you're you're depositing, you know, savings into your own account here, uh, in in a sense, because you're coming to a place of feeling deeply expanding and also in the flow. Okay. Now I feel, yeah, for some of you, you might be struggling with things too, when it comes to material things, spiritual things, and trying to find that balance in a sense. Uh, what else? Gratitude. May you honor all that you receive. You're going to be well off for a lot of you. Um, Aquarius with that 10 of crystals, this is the 10 of pentacles. This is, you know, a, a card of achievement, um, retirement, if you want it, you know, property, marriage. I mean, it's, it's all good. It really is. So just be in the attitude of gratitude that you've already received it. Okay. Feel it and just be with that. But I do feel that you are receiving things right now too, you know, as always, right? But may you honor all that you receive. I, I was just talking about, I don't know where it was, but I was getting this like thing about you being in the flow, right? So that you can be, oh yeah, it was this deep, this card here. May you immerse deeper uh, or may you immerse and go deeper, okay? Because there's something about you finding I'm just, I'm just envisioning like a well, like a wishing well, and at times it gets drained, but then what happens if it gets drained, then we could fill it up with all kinds of good abundance as well, but we just need to maybe know how deep that well actually goes. And sometimes, you know, uh, life takes us on journeys where it makes us expand our, our mind and our heart. And yes, it does get uncomfortable. But uh, you are built for this because I feel a lot of you have a powerful purpose and mission. Okay. So you're getting ready to receive. Uh, there could be something here with noticing rainbows at certain times. Um, just know that it, that is your angels letting you know that you are highly uh, connected and they're there. Right. And it's like this. I see it as a bridge here. Um, what else for Aquarius? Yeah, I was already talking about you with this deeper card or this depth card expansion. Um, some of you just need to get out there and show the world what you're made of. Uh, oh, yeah, everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body, okay? You're going to have high and low, you know, energy at times, right? Uh, tune into the moon's magic, though. There, there's something about <clears throat> moon energy, moon illumination, uh, paying attention to moon cycles and working with them, not against them. Uh, but just do whatever feels right for you. Show the world what you're made of, Sagittarius. Oh, oh, I, oh wow, 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 Aquarius. I can't believe I just called you guys Sagittarius. Hmm. Maybe you guys have Sagittarius placements or you could be connecting with a Sagittarius. Or, or Sagittarius does have to do with expansion, higher learning. So that could be why too. Share your message and shine your light. Okay. Show the world what you're made of. Don't be afraid to, you know, share something that I feel that you guys, you know, maybe before were maybe a little bit afraid to, to express. Now, some of you, you're coming up with some new things, um, that's going to make you feel a lot, a lot more confident, but yeah, just know that you just keep expanding. And as, as you're expanding, just share with others with, with whatever you have. Okay. And I feel a lot of you, this will help you with your energy too. What else? Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. I told you I was waiting for a forgiveness card earlier. I was just like, well, I'm not surprised when I have a forgiveness, but judgment could be that too. Oh yeah. Look at this anger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we got a little angry. That's okay, because ang anger could be a beautiful thing if you um, if you want to look at it that way too. Because you know, if we can safely express it or safely channel it, it could be a beautiful thing. It could make us, you know, turn things around and make things better, or we become better. Okay, so forgive yourself. Because some of you, you know, was I getting this earlier? I thought I was getting something earlier that maybe you feel bad for doing something bad. I don't know. 
Anyhow, <clears throat> honor all of your emotions as sacred and use anger as a positive force. Um, yeah, because I feel that there's something about you getting or creating something here. See the light in yourself and others. So there's a lot of, there's a water and fire with this, both of these cards, okay? So I feel that you are tempering something within yourself that's also at the same time creating some type of new possibility in your life. Because I'm just, goodness, you know, I was talking about Sagittarius and now I'm just seeing temperance in my mind's eye, um, which temperance is connected to a zodiac sign of Sagittarius. And, you know, you're bringing two opposite, um, things together and creating something from it. And that's exactly what's happening here. So, you know, I feel a lot of you just need to be in awe of what's about to birth from your life and birth from you because you're, you're doing something with like energies right now and you're the alchemist. So this is why I feel a lot of you are, you know, very strong. You're also very skilled. <clears throat> what else for, uh, Aquarius? hope look Aquarius this is you I feel this is star card here staying positive the worst is behind you look up to the light okay know that you also are a light for others if that's what you uh want to do or need to hear but most importantly you need to keep your hope alive do not allow you know the dream thief to come swooping your dreams away or the hope thief come swooping up and taking up your hope this is why I'm getting this and I'm envisioning this wishing well with you. And maybe you re didn't realize how deep your wishing well really is within your own self. So maybe that's why something had to be depleted or it had to be drained in a sense here so that you could really see how deep it goes and get to choose now what you want to fill it up with because a lot of you, you already know something good is already happening and, and coming here. So keep your hope alive. That's going to be, you know, something strong for you uh, to hang on to here. Uh, what else? Hmm. Hmm. Is this why? Here we've got Scorpio energy coming through with the death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah, this is this whole thing about rising up, knowing what you're here to do, or you will. It'll come very clear for you. So just, you know, don't give up on hope and healing and, um, you know, knowing that you're going to have a brighter future, okay? Because you will, because something is just beginning for you. Well, what else? And again, about this transformation with you too, that I'm seeing here that you're like, you may have already done it, you know, given birth to a new self of you or you are, you know, in, in the midst of it. May each breaking wave build your courage. You know, this is more like strength card coming through. Decide, may you navigate with a purpose. See, there's something about you really knowing what's true to you and not getting swayed by anything with that. Okay. That's, what's going to help you guys really get clear about deciding and may you, may you, um, welcome yourself home. So, you know, this card of belonging. So I feel that you guys are just being encouraged to stay strong, to have confidence in your decisions as well. Okay. And know that there's something about you, no matter what feeling that you belong. And yes, some of you guys could be um, you know, getting a dream home or, you know, welcoming yourself to a new place, a new situation, but the spirit wants you to know that you do belong. So don't question this because for some of you, oh my goodness. Yeah. Now I'm getting something too. Cause some of you guys, especially when you're up leveling in life, you may question, <laughs> question like, oh my God, do I belong here? Like it doesn't feel right. Cause you're not used to it, but you gotta get, you're, you're going to get used to it. So, you know, there's a lot of shedding that's been going on with that death card with you too. So actually it's just helping you guys become even more whole here. Okay. So you're finding out more and more what's true for you. Um, and so spirit, um, does not want you to feel like you don't belong or that you're going to be denied. You do belong and may you welcome yourself home and be at home no matter what or where you're at. Even if, you know, the surroundings are different or something is new. Again, it just takes some time. Um, what else? 
you're gonna have money too see this is something this is like cancer too i feel there could be a connection between you and cancer but not necessarily but um a gift of money is on its way to you you know your income is increasing continue to believe it okay some of you could have had a transformation in your finances here just to help you actually manage your finances with more love and care uh because you're, you're gonna have a lot more so manage your finances with love no matter what okay this is how you can you know just love that you are able to pay your bills or you know pay for things that maybe you don't necessarily like you know maybe homeowners do taxes you know maybe credit card bills just be happy that you can pay for that right and and for some you know you just get your mind off of debt and get your mind off of scarcity and just focus on prosperity uh, just focus on what's best for you you can only handle so much anyways and with this two of wands you know got this thing about balancing act so you know you can only uh, calculate so far but just know that there is a gift of money coming um on its way to you so this is uh, something for you to feel good about. I do feel that this may even be tied in uh, with Ace of Pentacles, actually, Aquarius, because there could be something with, um, you know, receiving a windfall of money or a new opportunity to make money, maybe an investment or a home here or property that could be uh, well worth it. <clears throat> okay, what else for Aquarius? believe may the sea deepen your faith so you know we got that card of hope it's really you know surround yourself with situations or things right now that can help you deepen your faith because the deeper you feel uh, the more successful you're going to be and i feel that's something natural that comes with you anyways i just feel that at the same time there's situations that could really pull you away from it and maybe yeah stir up a little bit of anger or challenges but that's okay that's just life um, you're just meant to continue to believe and be hopeful. Look at the sun is like really shining bright. So I do feel there's something about getting notice or recognition or coming into some type of achievement because I feel you have been working towards something that does um, or needs to have some type of recognition or merits recognition, I should say. What else? Oh, <laughs> that's how I see you. Like people are going to see you that way. Like, ah, ah, may you see the sublime and every, the everyday. This is about that alive uh, situation. May you uh, delight in vitality. Just things are going to become more alive with you. And sorry about that light live in your situation here. Okay. You know, the, the, the sun is breaking through those dark clouds and that's exactly what's happening. So you're meant to get inspired. Um, so pay attention to things that really enlighten you or light you up. Okay. I feel that's your angels really showing you magic in your life. Uh, what else? Six of Crystals, you're getting ready to receive a gift. Money is on its way to you big time. Uh, the Six of Crystals came out with this prosperity. So gratitude and synergy. Um, you're being led to a partnership or a situation where we have a balance in, uh, of give and take here. And yes, there's something strong about getting money in order here, having a gift of money, feeling abundant, okay? feeling alive because now we're getting filled up with the good stuff here in our well and our I should say wishing well right so yeah a gift is on its way believe that what else and again with like belonging too okay you belong. There's something about feeling, you know, right at home, welcoming, welcoming yourself at home. Oh my gosh. Eight of cups. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. True seeing. There's something about you guys having true seeing. It's coming out a few times. I want to see what was behind the eight of cups. Yeah. You guys are ready for a quest of wisdom, abundant harvest and conserving your energy. I do feel a strong sense of needing to conserve your energy because right now, right now you're getting filled up 
So, you know, how is it? How do you feel when you're depleted or don't have energy? Or let's just say no energy, no time, no money, no emotions, no whatever. How does it feel when you give then? You don't feel good, right? That's when you just don't give. That's when you listen to your inner guidance. Um, and, and plus this reading right now, I want to tell you, I mean, give if it feels like it gives back to you, but you're filling up your well right now with knowledge, wisdom, and yes, there will be some type of unexpected income or some type of increase of income. So conserve, I feel that spirit wants you to, you know, pay attention to it, allow it to, um, you know, carry you through by just being conservative with it in a way. Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys are really on a true quest here of, um, you know, maybe a spiritual, uh, thing or just a quest for wisdom here. And you are, um, being guided, uh, to do so because a lot of you, you need to know that something is already has shown up or it will show up. It's like the resource you need, or maybe even the friend you need, the start you need to get going here. Now for some, um, with this eight of cups and the, the page of pentacles there's something strong about your health. So you could be abandoning or walking away from things that are, you, you might be picking up intuitively that could be, you know, just not so good for your health right now. Um, and I feel that you're exactly in aligned with that. So just go ahead and, you know, not be afraid to start some type of new routine, health routine or there's something maybe even about a fitness partner for some of you guys. Okay, let's see. What else? <clears throat> Sanctuary. Just take time out from the world. You may need just a little time to unplug. You know, I do. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, yeah, make sure you take care of yourself because, you know, you, you do need to meditate or go on a retreat. Uh, take some time out maybe from social media, if some of you guys are involved with that, or maybe if you just got a lot going on, because again, this is about your health, which is part of you filling up your well, right? This is your well. So I hope you have a, a place to go to. Okay. Uh, you need to find a place that you can feel that you can retreat to because some of you may, you may really need to take a little time out. I feel like hermit energy is coming through with this. Like, I just feel there's something about, you know, elevating your expectations, raising your standards, knowing that you have unlimited potential, because I know that there was something here that's got you guys really questioning everything possibly, right? It just didn't come out or worked out the way that maybe you thought it was going to, or maybe the unexpected happened here but you're being asked to take a little time out because I, oh, you know what I'm getting is like four of cups here. You know, it's like when that person is sitting by the tree and there's like, you know, the cup behind that, like that offering and that person doesn't see it. So, um, you know, just be aware of your own emotions for some of you, but also just know that what you thought might not be possible, or maybe you lost a chance. You're going to have another chance. Okay. Uh, what else for Aquarius? Seven of acorns, determination and stamina. So I feel that persistence and consistency is really paying off. Also, um, we got fire sign coming through. Cause this is like, this is like you standing up for what you believe is right too. Let's get, let me see what was behind it. The seven of shells, choice and ambition. So I feel a lot of you are, okay, there may be something here with having to <clears throat> conserve your resources for the time being if you need to. Um, but we are just talking about uh, possibilities here, okay? Like this four of cups kind of energy going on over here. And I do see that some, some type, some, something is being protected when it comes to uh, possibilities and options on its way. Now, I also get this thing where some of you guys really have to block out distractions or temptation at this time, especially if it can, if it drains you, like drains your pocketbook, your energy, like seriously, you got to block it out. Okay. It'll be worth it. So stay strong and persistent because there's something about really having this sense of aliveness and freedom here. Um, what else? 
past lives. I knew something about past life was coming up. You are releasing past life karma. Um, uh, Aquarius, integrate your shadow side because there can be no light without dark. Yeah, this is all about, you know, not feeling bad or guilty about your light side or dark side. You got to have both anyways. It's just how life is. Um, but I do feel a lot of you might be studying and learning more about law of attraction or, you know, some type of alchemy or maybe some type of studies that just helps you guys really grow and prosper in life. So do it. Okay. You are an old soul with deep wisdom. This is why I was picking up you being, uh, in the hermit energy as well. <laughs> Healing your past lives will raise your vibration. I feel a lot of you guys have been doing that. So continue to be aware of something that you may feel is some type of past life, like it feels karmic or just feels heavy or uh, repetitive. Because some of you, there could be something about, you know, <clears throat> ancestors handing down something that may be just you're the one that could clear it. Um, but yeah, a lot of you, you are being very courageous. And so... The more you bring a lot more balance or something about integrating the <clears throat> the light and aspects of oneself in a situation, the more that you're going to feel a sense of freedom here. But you do need to know that there's something happening here with victory. I feel it. I feel like this is chariot here, and I I feel that there's something strong about you're really like releasing some type of like heavy duty energy, I feel, or releasing that past life karma or past life like relationship that needs to be released. Okay, what else? Because you guys are just going to have a lot of well-being and blessings. So pay attention to love and compassion with yourself and others and family members, friends that you have now. And just expect the best for yourself. Because, you know, not only do you have the Ten of Crystals, but you got the Ten of Shells. So you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups and the Judgment card. Because I feel like Ten and Ten is like 20, the Judgment here. So uh, a new lease of life, uh, a second chance at what maybe you thought never would or could never happen it will and better okay you're gonna have like blessings uh, you know if you're talking about wanting or dreaming of some type of stability with home life love life you know i see this happening for you for a long time to come so either way you're finding some type of great emotional fulfillment contentment here spiritually mentally physically emotionally all of it good there may be a special delivery too. So you need to be open to news on its way or something that gets you moving towards a new direction. Because I feel that this is going towards this Ten of Cups. Also, your family is being protected for a lot of you. Your possessions, you, you know, your family, your loved ones, it's all being protected. Um, what else? Three of Shells, there's more about you finding uh, your soul group that you're meant to connect with this lifetime, okay? Forget the past life. <laughs> We're talking about this lifetime. Playfulness, bliss, Three of Shells, um, engaging with others, connecting, having an attitude of gratitude, maybe even a sense of soul reunion. Maybe for some it is a reunion with friends or just hanging out with friends. The ones that give you joy, that's for sure. The ones that give you happiness, that are happy for you, not jealous of you. Because <laughs> I've been there too, Aquarius. I've been there with you too. Anyhow, Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have a lot of funness going on here, okay? So I feel that you are... Um, you know, going to have something to celebrate here, especially because, you know, you have learned some type of ending is really uh, a new beginning, a new chapter, also inviting uh, your soul family in this lifetime that you're meant to connect with. And yes, uh, a beloved too, if you haven't connected with them yet. Uh, what else for Aquarius? Don't deny yourself by giving into fear. The only way that you are going to push your dream or something away is just giving into fear, fear of change or fear that you're not going to belong or fear of your own decisions. Replace it with the inside of awareness. So just, you know, acknowledge your fear. 
okay? Just see it for what it is, because that's how I see you, though. <laughs> I mean, really, I see you guys doing that. May you see things as they are, right? Even fear, and knowing that you are not going to be denied, right? Because there could be something here where I feel Eight of Swords for some of you. So some of you, something's going to happen if it hasn't to wake you up so that you're not denying yourself of fulfillment that is really truly what you want and is um you know deserving of you what else for aquarius okay that's it for those so let's find out aquarius what you have to look forward to in the near future what does aquarius have to look forward to in the near future leadership taking the lead or at least not being afraid of where you're going. Inspire and empower others. This is what you have to look forward to because I feel that you guys are really an inspiration because I do see you being with that hope card wherever it went. Oh, this one, um, being in the star card energy here. So yeah, you're, you're going to be sharing your messages or sharing something that you are really good at. Okay. So believe in your abilities. I just wanted to see what was behind that. Courage. Okay, yeah, you're safe. Look, I'm telling you, fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Don't let others be greedy for your time or attention or don't allow yourself to give in to, you know, things that make you feel less than courageous, right? Including fears, worries, stresses. Who Just don't even. <laughs> and I feel a lot of you guys are doing that. I just get more like Leo energy coming through here. So... Yeah, I feel a lot of you, Spirit wants you to have the courage to really take something on or be proud of yourself or, you know, share what you need to share when you feel the need to do it and, and don't hold back. Let's find out how Spirit's helping you currently. <clears throat> how is Spirit helping Aquarius? Page of shells. Yay. A new beginning, a new emotional fulfillment for a lot of you, new gifts. And look, the eight of shells is coming out again. This is the eight of cups. So it came out twice. Yeah. Spirit's helping you guys dream a new dream, um, evolving some type of gift as well that I feel a lot of you guys have awoken up to, or you will. Okay. Yeah. You guys are really, Spirit's helping you guys with quest, uh, uh, some type of quest that is very sacred and meaningful for you. And renewal here. So yeah, a breath, a fresh of breath air, coming up for air, feeling light, simplifying and, you know, uh, connecting with another soul possibly here where I feel they are, they're on the same path as you. <laughs> okay. They're at a new stage, but they're also, um, got this desire to follow their North star as well. And I'm just really noticing the heart too on the back of that uh, frog. So, um, and that star, I, I, if something is lining up in destiny with you and, and, and your love life. Okay. I just feel that so strong. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.